The Australian Senate supported piloting a blockchain land registry. Hi, my name is Alexey Konashevich. Today, I would like to talk about what senators said about the land registry's use of blockchain technology in 2021. You can watch my previous videos about other recommendations and fintech initiatives of the Australian lawmakers. Find the links down below. The year 2021 for the Australian FinTech marks two important committee reports of the Australian Senate led by Senator Andrew Bragg, one in April and another in October 2021. Today we'll talk about the April report of the Senate Select Committee on Australia as Technology and Financial Center. The report is known as the second interim report. You'll find the link to the document in the description. By the way, the first report was published in September the year before. The land registry is discussed in Chapter 5 and in the conclusions and recommendations of Chapter 7. Briefly, you can read about conclusions in the executive summary of the report. Block 8 informed the Committee of State Government efforts to move their jurisdictions to a fully electronic conveyancing system. The South Australian government issued a request for information on the use of distributed ledger technology for electronic lodgement network operator interoperability in this context. Despite around 12 months of discussions on a blockchain solution, Block 8 regretted that South Australia didn't proceed with this approach and considered that this was a result of pressure to fast-track implementation. The CSIRO, the Australian National Science Agency, noted the use of a blockchain-based land registry system in the Republic of Georgia. I wrote about it in my academic papers, though I think it can be a good topic for discussion because many people refer to this pilot as a success story. Though I believe this project taught us what we should not do and why. Let me know if you want to hear this story in the comments below. Okay, let's get back to the report. The senators in section 534 referred to what I said. Yes, I was personally present at that committee meeting and spoke before senators. They invited me because I made a submission, uh, Blockchain Estate Registry, which briefly outlined the results of my academic research on this matter. You can find this submission on the Senate website and also the minutes of the Senate meeting at the list down in the description. So section 534 says, Dr. Alexey Konashevich provided information on his research on the application of blockchain technology to land titles. He found that using blockchain, public bodies can retain a traditional amount of power, but also citizens are given the direct access to manage their records by performing peer-to-peer -peer transactions. Dr. Konashevich detailed that such a system would allow the public direct access to their property records rather than needing to go through the registrar as intermediary. He further explained, blockchain is fundamentally different because it's open by default and so the proprietors, the owners of any property, title rights are just an example. It can be any property rights, can directly interact with their property rights and manage these records that represent their property. Why the registrar is inefficient is that when there is a centralized database closed by default and it's mediated through other people, it's a bottleneck. The discussions about the land registry are summed up in two more paragraphs based on my submission and my verbal explanations at that meeting. Paragraph 535 says, existing closed database systems don't allow smart contracts or automation and interaction of many interested parties banks, insurance companies, landowners, and developers. By contrast, with an open infrastructure like blockchain, it is possible to introduce these sort of things with digital rights operating with smart contracts. Dr. Konashevich estimated that the use of blockchain in land registries would reduce the work of registrars by 90%. Paragraph 536, Dr. Konashevich told the committee that there would be lots of advantages, including attracting investments from all over the world, for early adopters of these technologies. He advocated for Australia adopting blockchain in the land registry as a pilot, which would not require amending or adopting new legislation. He did, however, consider that the full power of the technology could be achieved only by changes in regulations. 
Chapter 7 of the April report contains recommendation 17. 759. The committee recommends that National Cabinet consider supporting a blockchain land registry initiative as a pilot project for Commonwealth State Cooperation on RegTech. That's it. Describe to my channel, Blockchain State, if you want to follow this topic and want to know where this recommendation led to. Don't forget to hit like. See you in the next video.